right, we have got a 2016 Chevy Impala with a 3.6, and it is here because it has a very loud exhaust. And upon initial inspection, just by opening the hood, what I see is the converter has separated itself from the flange that it attaches to right here. Looks like it just rusted away, but I do know this car was involved in a accident. So that may have quite a bit to do with that being separated like that. Anyway, we're going to change this out. Uh, looks like the first thing I'm going to have to do is take this plastic discussion off right here. This just has little pop clips in here, plastic pop clips where you put your screwdriver in a little slot on the side twist it should pop up and I may pull this engine cover off here just for a little additional space maybe not um, I'm gonna start taking this loose I'll probably take the entire converter loose with the oxygen sensors attached since it's gonna be a little bit of a problem to try and get those out without just having any kind of support and you can see man the oxygen sensors are laying all the way up in the fans so let me get some tools here and uh, I'll be back as soon as I get ready to take this stuff apart. Okay, I've gotten this discussion off the front of here. And this is giving me a better view of the damage here. As you can clearly see, this pipe literally ripped apart. So I'm going to have to say that that is from... The accident uh, doesn't appear to be too rusty. It just looks like it just took that hit, twisted that pipe, and ripped it right apart. So I'm going to get this flange off of here. These four bolts, excuse me, four nuts are 15 millimeters. I'm going to get that out of there. Take our gasket out of there make sure that surface is clean back there. Uh, I'll disconnect the oxygen sensors and here. And the other one's down up underneath. I'm going to try and get a uh, good view at it once I get up underneath the vehicle. Still got to get it in the air. But uh, I'll be back as soon as I get up underneath there. Okay, so here we are up underneath. And I've got the two bolts loose so far out of the flange of the converter. Get a picture of it. Sorry if this video is not the greatest. There's one there. And the other one's right there. They are 15s. Uh, the oxygen sensor connector is going to be right here. It has a little green locking tab right here. You're going to have to remove that. Same as if you're changing your oxygen sensor. Pull that little locking tab out. Lift up on this and pull your wire, pull your connector out of there. So, I'm going to get this converter loose and get it out of here, and I'll be back. Alright, I have a new converter here. And the only place I was able to find this was at Chevy. If anybody is interested, this converter is $625 with a $100 core charge. Son of a bitch! Yep, that's correct. Six twenty-five with a hundred dollar core charge. Chevy is now charging you a hundred dollar core charge when you purchase a converter. And if you don't bring back the factory converter, you lose your hundred bucks. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back in a moment. All right, got this converter out of here. Uh, once you get everything loose, the two bolts up underneath connected to the pipe, you can just lift it straight from the top. And now I'm going to change over my oxygen sensors here. Got the other one out. It's at this end. Down here, that one's already out. I'm going to get this one out. I'm going to get my new converter. Switch these over. And I'm going to put the converter back in there and I'll be back. 
Alright, I've got the converter back in. Got the two bolts down at the bottom connected to the exhaust pipe. If you do have to do one of these, do yourself a favor. Do not tighten these bolts up. It's okay to put these bolts in first and let the converter kind of hang down so you can hook your pipe up. But don't tighten these up because you'll never get your gasket in between that pipe and the converter down below. So I'm going to finish buttoning this up and uh, connect my oxygen sensors back up here and down there. And that will about wrap this up. So I'll be back shortly. Alright, got a converter in there, got it back running, and that is going to conclude this job. Now, if you found this video helpful in any way, go ahead and hit the like button or the subscribe button. I'm going to be putting up more videos as the stars show up. Everybody have a good day.